Yes, I mean, that's obviously a, a fairly big topic, but uh, I think personalized medicine is obviously something that's important to research, and we're learning a lot about uh, cancers. But if we define personalized medicine as where a patient goes and has their tumor sample uh, undergo genetic analysis, most commonly genetic uh, sequencing, you know, there's this sort of feeling that you'll be able to match a treatment with mutations that may be present in that sample. Uh, and there are, there are problems with that. I mean, there is no doubt that there are some patients with um, common mutations or common expression of genes like HER2 in breast cancer where there are treatments that help. But when it comes down to an individual patient getting their own tumor sequence, there are several problems. Um, first of all, there is a lack of very effective targeted agents that may be effective in inhibiting a mutated pathway. And those agents are actually quite toxic. Their, their, their toxicity is different, but they're often just as toxic as chemotherapy. So using them in together is almost impossible. And, and you can understand that because they're inhibiting pathways that are only minimally changed from the normal pathways in our cells that um, you know, are important for, for, for the cell to function. So that's one problem. Another problem is that um, tumors are very heterogeneous. Uh, we've, all, we've known for a long time that there, if you have different people with breast cancer that we now analyze the type of breast cancer and we, we molecularly characterize them. But it's beyond that. We've learned over the last few years that if you take samples from the same tumor, so the, the same primary tumor, if it metastasizes the lymph nodes and the metastases, that the genes that are mutated or, or expressed in those different parts of the tumor may be quite different. We've also learned that with some fairly complex uh, technology, that those differences occur very early on in the, in the tumor. So essentially, the thought that you take a tumor biopsy and can characterize it and treat it is, is rather simplistic because when you take a biopsy from one area, it may be actually somewhat different from a biopsy from other areas. And so intratumor heterogeneity means that if you do, if you, if you do have a, a molecular targeted agent that is fairly effective against a pathway that is mutated in one area, then it's probably only going to work for a while, which is what you commonly find that even if you respond that uh, generally speaking resistance uh, sets in and then it stops working and the reason for that is you've got lots of other clones. We don't really know how many of the mutations are really driving the tumor enabling cell survival and tumor proliferation. A lot of them may be just sort of uh, passenger mutations if you like that don't influence that but the best evidence would suggest that in many tumors there's anywhere from two or three to several tens of mutations that could be important in, in allowing the tumor to continue to grow. So that's a very big problem.